the Brooklyn Museum, the Gustav Kayabat Show. You gotta see the works of this amazing polymath. He was a painter, impressionist, and academic, an engineer, a botanist, a lawyer. He designed yachts, he raced yachts, and he loved dogs. I'm with Judith Dolcart, the curator of the show. Judith, would you accept a challenge? Yes. Show me the three things of these nearly 40 paintings that you absolutely love. The first work I really love is this work entitled The Floor Scrapers. And with it, Kaibot made his debut at the Second Impressionist Exhibition and really established himself as someone who was willing to take on daring subject matters. Here, Kaibot paints the subject of urban labor, a subject matter that was really deemed vulgar in the period. But also with this painting, we see some of Kaibot's later interests in this exhibition, in particular, capturing reflection. To scrape the floor, the floor scrapers had to first wet the boards, and this prevented chipping. Um, and so here we see Kaibot exploring the way hard forms dissolve in these reflections. So this is my second favorite piece. Uh, this is Oarsman in a top hat, and this is an image that Kirk Varnadeau referred to as city comes to country. And we see that here with this elegantly attired bourgeois gentleman in his top hat um, with his striped shirt and his bow tie. And we see this vigorous and visible brushwork. These are all hallmarks of Impressionism. Why is this one of your loves? Uh, this picture is one of my favorites because it has so much going on. There's a great deal of geographical specificity for Kaibot's interests. Right here we have the pontoon, a floating pontoon at Petit Jean Villiers. Um, and this is where Kaibot and his brother and the members of their yachting club would meet. And just beyond the bend in the river is where Kaibot and his brother had an estate. And what is interesting about this work is that Kaibot shows us Petit Jean Villiers and Argentoy as towns or suburbs really in flux between the industrial and, sea and occupations of leisure. Now may I show you one I love? Absolutely. <laughs> This is also one of my favorites. What do you like about it? What I like about it is not only the atmosphere, mm -hmm. but also the delicious trickery where people on the beach are just kind of little beautiful spots. Mm -hmm. And the architecture is this excellent bourgeois all scrunched together, but everybody has his own castle, That's including right. this guy. That's right. What I like about this picture is that we see Kaibot making an, an effort to adopt a different point of view. We see in his earlier scenes that Kaibot is adopting these very direct recessions in space. And here he's adopting a plunging perspective from above. And later in the exhibition, you'll see that he adopts this kind of perspective for scenes of Paris. The Brooklyn Museum, the Gustav Kaibot Show, closes July 5th. Do not miss it.